Welcome back to Send Crypto Channel. In this video, I just want to give a quick update about Ethereum and where do I think the price is heading to at least for the short term, right? The current price of Ethereum is right now uh, one like 114, right? It's getting pumped by 15% up, right? So let's do some Elliott wave counting. So you got one, two, three, four, five, right here. And this is the most aggressive way of counting this 15 minute chart, right? Because the market is like on a bull run, right? Basically, we can say that if you take a look at the data, Ethereum is almost 30% up, right? The last couple of days, like since this week. And then look at the R side. We still like, you know, trending up, right? And then we're about to take a look at this. We're about to come to a stop, right? Because we're definitely going to challenge this area of a resistance right we you know that's the first time second time we're gonna uh you know trying to challenge this area right so let's go back to the to the 15 minute chart so basically if you count if you count the Elliott wave this way you're gonna assume like you know on the daily time frame right we're definitely gonna gonna break that we're gonna break that area, right? Let's go back to the daily. Right. So we basically we're assuming we're gonna break this area. So it's very dangerous to uh, assume like such thing, right? But if you're aggressive enough and then you're confident in the market, that you know you're gonna see like the volume coming in. So we're definitely gonna break it. But at least we're gonna take a step back, right? You know, kind of like have a small pullback before we retest that area. So. Uh, Let's go back to 15 minutes chart. Right here. So, okay, this is the uh, this is scenario number one, right? So you basically assuming the market. Let me charge my laptop. Okay. So basically, you're assuming the market gonna keep going this way, right? So that's number one scenario. The number two scenario is that you assuming like you're gonna assume this is so this is wave number three right here. So you got this ABC correction and then you got maybe like we about to finish this correction right here, right? So you got one, two, three, four, five, right? So we're gonna retest this stop basically. You know, most likely gonna fail. Right? Right here. It's about like 160, 117, and then what are we gonna get next? So you're gonna get your Elliott wave, I mean your uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement tool, and then bang. So look at this area of 50%, right? We got a big support at 50% retracement, right? So we could assume that's a second assumption, right? We're gonna assume like a, you know, we're gonna retrace down to a 50%, right? So this is wave, uh, this is wave number five, and then you know you're gonna take the whole Fibonacci uh, retracement from uh, wave number five, you know most likely down in this area, right? 0.618 to a uh, 50% retracement. That's about. Uh, let's take a look at it. So we could be expecting like 13% drop to 17% drop. <coughs> excuse me, 17% drop uh, to 18% drop to. Uh, for Ethereum, right? So that's the safest way, right? So basically, if you assume this scenario, you most likely, you know, take profit and wait for the price to drop 15 to 18 percent, right? Uh, the next couple of days. But uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you're aggressive, <coughs> excuse me, if you're aggressive enough, right? So you're just gonna go for this way, for this type of scenario, right? So. You're gonna assume this is wave number five, right? And then what are you gonna get next? You're gonna get your ABC correction. A B C correction. Let me change the color. Right? And then after you get this ABC correction, you assume it, right? That's a that's very aggressive, right? So you're gonna assume another five wave structure, right? So you're gonna get you already completed wave number one, right? So you got two and then three, four, 
and try it, right? So this is the uh, most aggressive way of doing it because it doesn't make sense to, to do it like this but you just have to, you know, keep in mind like all all possibilities, right? So so you got this in, in Elliot way you got one, two, three, four, five, right? And then in each of these five way structure five you get some uh, ABC correction and some uh, you know and so on and so on so same thing happening in here in here and then uh, in wave number five right so you got five waves here ABC and five waves here right so right so where do we expect now the next price if you want to go for this way right now you already got you already got your wave number one so what do you expect now wave number three right so the wave number three most likely going to be a 1.618 extension if you want to be a uh, if you want to be conservative right so you expect to do this you know just about it right right here so if you want to be conservative you can even exit out right here right and wait for a pullback to 382 just back you know right up right around uh, right around like 120 right once you get to 135 right I mean I'm saying like right here maybe something like this right so one to one extension you can you know take an exit right right take a profit so that's what I'm expecting at least for Ethereum uh, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if this one is just we're gonna make a top formation right here so if we make a top formation, we're most likely going to retrace down, uh, you know, to retrace down to this area of a uh, $100, right? So about 101 to 98. So that's very possible. That's very, uh, that's very uh, possible. But that's the safest way, also, right? So it just depends your uh, trading style, how you want to play it out, but. If you're aggressive, you can go like the other way, just target 135. If not, just wait for a pullback to 50% uh, and uh, uh, just about 95 to uh, 101, right? In that, in this area, right here. So. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, just subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And then I'll put your comment down below. Um, and I'll uh, see you next time, right? Thanks a lot. And I just want to give a shout out to Phil Akon. Most of this stuff, you know, I learned it from Phil Akon, right? So, thanks a lot. Bye.